welcome to Think Like a Label video blog. I am Jordana Elizabeth and um, I'm here to kind of introduce Think Like a Label. We've been up and running for six months now and um, first of all you know I want to let everybody know that Think Like a Label is not my website. Um, I started out as a contributing writer and uh, kind of moved my way up to assistant editor but Think Like a Label uh, is the idea of uh, Jeremy and Minoj from Foxy Melody Distribution, LLC. So they started out as an online distribution company, and I guess Jeremy got the idea that um, he wanted to help artists become better artists and to survive in the music industry. So he brought on a small team of writers, and... Um, you know, I survived, you know, and I'm still here um, along with Steph, who is a great rock and roll writer um, in New Zealand. So she writes once a month and um, it's all been really exciting. And I just want to personally thank everybody for their support. I know a lot of my friends have, you know, uh, followed the site from the beginning and have supported me in my writing. And, um, you know, it's been a blessing. So thank you um, and you know this is just the beginning so I guess I wanted to talk a little bit about surviving in the music industry um, you know a couple of things that I have learned um, is to always believe in yourself never second-guess yourself if you want to do something make sure you know exactly what you want to do and never be afraid to evolve you know, I know um, a lot of you guys have watched me go from, you know, an artist to uh, an event coordinator, booking manager, and, you know, to a writer and all these things. And, you know, there are so many opportunities. Um, I'm also a strong believer in education. Um, a lot of people don't agree in that, uh, don't agree with that notion, but, you know, going to school to learn how to play your instrument to learn how to do your craft better um, is always a great idea. You know, I'm classically trained um, in vocals, you know. I can sing in French and Italian. And um, I'm currently in school um, studying entertainment business. So, <laughs> you know, while I'm doing this, I'm always learning. Um, school is expensive, but it just makes it easier um, to kind of understand you know what you're doing and and how you wanna function you know in this world and create a career for yourself so you know you don't burn out and have to you know get some type of part-time job or you know and that's okay but you know um, I think that the music industry is a beautiful thing only because I've learned how to survive in it in my own way and if you can find your own path, you know, I don't mean to sound, you know, like a freaking hippie or something, but if you can find your own way to be creative and to walk yourself through doors without compromising, you know, yourself and, and blocking out um, a lot of the the negativity and the truths and the lies, you know, that, that surround um, the music industry, you know, you can win. And I guess um, throughout time, I'm going to be explaining um, ideals about uh, surviving and branding yourself and, you know, um, you know, whether you want to be a cult band or whether you want to be, you know, a pop band or whatever and making these choices um, throughout your daily life and career. Music is a lifestyle, you know. Um, and I think the last thing that I want to explain to bands, um, when you're a band and you just want to, you know, have fun and make music and you're not really looking to, uh, be professional, um, and make a career out of your band, that's really cool. That's cute. And that's okay. That's actually, you know, a great idea. Um... But you need to be aware of your scene and your community and respect 
that other people are serious about their craft and other people depend on you even if you're not depending on them. Um, to be clear, you know, let's say, you know, you book a show and, uh, you know, you get there and you don't promote, you know, and you bring, you know, one or two people. Well, that's cool. You're like, okay, we're just here to have fun. I'm glad that, you know, my sister and, you know, my girlfriend came to the show and that's, you know, or my boyfriend or whatever. And that's awesome. You know, but you have to remember that, you know, the club needs to make a living, you know, and if that club can't pay its bills and keep its lights on, how is it going to open its doors and give opportunities to other bands, you know, who are serious or not serious, you know, um, that really, you know, shafts the booking manager or your manager or whoever, or your label or whoever's trying to help you, you know, if you don't care, you, you have to understand that you are affecting a lot of people. Plain and simple. I don't care if it's club scene, if it's bigger venues, if it's whatever, if you've got a major label, if you're working on your own, you are affecting other people and you need to remember that those bartenders, that the booking manager, that the club, that everybody who's dealing with you, your friends who are paying seven or ten bucks to come see you, are sacrificing for you and you need to really make sure that, you know, you give back and you say please and thank you to people who are giving everything that they can. So that is my two cents for the week. So um, again, thank you guys for your support and uh, have a great weekend. Peace. Yeah. Don't call.